Weather isn't the main reason for school closures. If you take a look behind me, you can see the roads haven't been cleared. The Fayetteville Farmer's Market is a great place to take a seat, grab a cup of coffee, enjoy some local music, and have a great start to your Saturday morning. If freezing temperatures aren't your thing, the Cryo Spa also offers compression recovery and altitude training. The University of Arkansas Board of Trustees has approved a $2.5 million purchase of land for new intramural fields. Despite some rain earlier today, the sun has come out and all of the athletes are showing up in their nicest attire. If you plan on coming out and supporting your Razorbacks this week, be sure to check your local weather and road conditions and exercise caution when driving your car. Reporting for UATV, I'm Emily Tubert. The Razorbacks spent a week competing in the tropical paradise of Puerto Rico. While Good golf was their main the focus, right, so I think that's a perfect club there. Yeah. They also enjoyed the beauty of the island. We get to do what we love and we get to see this view and we wake up to this every day and we eat dinner looking at this. It's amazing. After each round, the girls could be found soaking up sun on the beach. They also explored the Yunque rainforest. Between competing and adventures, they found time for homework. I was able to do a lot of my homework early, which was really good because when we got here, it's, it's hard to get down and focus. I really wanted to go to the beach, but I knew I had a lot of homework, so I decided to take my homework to the beach. Though it may have felt like a vacation at times, this team had a very clear mission. To win. Our goal is always to win and to have fun. We're so blessed and we all get along and we're great players. And so to just all come together and get a win, that's what we practice every day for. Thanks, Jacob. The athletic department has broken ground for the new Student Athlete Success Center. It's going to be the largest student athlete services building in the SEC. Construction crews are tearing up the parking lot where the building is going to be located and students are taking notice. It's a pain in my butt. It's frustrating. It's really annoying. It's killing my parking. <laughs> Construction is underway for the new Student Athlete Success Center. This 55,000 square foot building will provide the athletes with services like tutors, academic advisors, a sports psychologist, and various programs like Leadership Academy and Financial Literacy. This is going to be a one-stop shop for our student athletes and we need to do that to compete in this conference and nationally. The center is going up in the popular student lot behind the outdoor track across from the Hyper. Parking on campus is already an issue and this construction isn't helping. We're going to lose 100 something spaces after the project's done, but that whole area will be one big parking lot. The athletic department chose the Hyper Lot because of its central location to other sports facilities, making it convenient for student athletes to access. This is the third project the athletic department has going on right now. They're also building a brand new practice facility for men's and women's basketball, and they've got another facility going up in between the indoor track and Bomb Stadium. Reporting live for UATV, I'm Emily Tubert. As snow covered the University of Arkansas campus in a wintry blanket Sunday, Razorback athletes took to their courts to compete. While all of the coaches and athletes made it to their venues, many fans did not. The dangerous road conditions seemed to keep them away. When I looked out the window, the roads were really bad and I did not want to risk my life to get there as much as I really wanted to support the Razorbacks that were competing today. Several accidents were reported due to the weather, but some dedicated hog fans did find a way to make it to the games. With road conditions being so slick, many students decided to grab their boots and walk as a safer alternative to driving. Living on campus, I was able to walk to the games because the roads are in such bad condition that I didn't want to get my car out and risk getting hurt or getting in a wreck. The men's basketball team is set to take on Alabama tomorrow night, and cold, wintry weather is still in the area. Come snow or shine, the show must go on. If you plan on coming out and supporting your Razorbacks this week, be sure to check your local weather and road conditions and exercise caution when driving your car. Reporting for UATV, I'm Emily Tubert. Thanks, Veronica. I'm here in the small venue where Darius Rucker just put on a private concert for the 17 teams competing in his tournament. Before the show, Darius shook hands and took pictures with each team. He says he loves the game of golf and is happy to give back. Every year I play a show for the, for the players and the sponsors, and that's just my way of saying thank you for coming here. Because you know, these, these teams can go play any golf tournament they want, and they choose to come play mine, and, and that makes me feel good.
the field is filled with the top teams in the country and the winning team will take home an autographed guitar to put in their trophy case. The three-time Grammy Award winner sang a combination of his old Hootie stuff and his new material and he performed for an hour and a half. The crowd seemed to enjoy it and sang along and danced the entire time. Reporting for UATV, I'm Emily Tuber. Thanks, Jacob. I'm standing here in the parking lot outside of the Razorback football stadium where Lift Up America is underway. If you take a look behind me, you can see the 31 student athletes who came out this morning to help unload frozen protein from that Tyson truck. Making a difference in Northwest Arkansas! Razorback Athletics has partnered with Tyson Foods, Lift Up America, and local food banks to deliver food to those in need in our community here in Northwest Arkansas. Right now in Fayetteville, Arkansas, one in three children this morning are, have food insecurity. So they don't know where their breakfast came from, where their lunch is going to come from on a daily basis. The student athletes have formed a bit of an assembly line, passing the boxes from one to another to help speed up the process. Now they're going to move about 36,000 pounds of protein in less than half an hour. To put that number in perspective, if the football stadium behind me was filled to capacity, there would be enough protein for every person in the stadium to have two servings. Reporting for UATV, I'm Emily Tubert. Hey guys, I'm here in the Union Ballroom where the first annual Razorback Student Athlete Variety Show just took place. This event was put on by SAC, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee here at the U of A, and they partnered with the Yvonne Richardson Center, which helps underprivileged youth here in Fayetteville. At the end of the night, they were able to present the center with a check for $1,200, which will help these kids with their rec center, go on field trips, and provide them with opportunities they wouldn't otherwise have. Our Razorback fans know our student athletes are very talented in their sports, but they came out tonight to support them in a different venue. It was great to see their, uh, their personalities outside of their training room and outside of what they do on the field or on the court. Nine different sports performed a variety of acts, including singing, dancing, guitar playing, and even a rap. A great time was had by all, and SAC is hoping this event will continue to grow as the years go on. Reporting for UATV, I'm Emily Tubert.